All right, now we're going to talk about um, location and angles of screens, and we'll just talk about a couple different ones. So first one that we've been looking at here is a side ball screen. So this is normally, and y'all don't have to go off this, but um, side ball screen is where you got the screener kind of in the wing area. The screener is facing the sideline, and then we're looking to attack middle. So that's a side pick and roll. A step up pick and roll would be same location, but different angle. Well, some people call it different stuff. But it's kind of the same location, different angle. So instead of the screener going on the inside, now I'm going to go right here, and the ball handler is going to attack off of going kind of on the sideline side. So that's a step up. So you got side, step up. Um, let's go top of the key right there. So now we'll go, normally we would be higher, but we can go with a flat pick and roll. So Caleb, let's say you're pressuring the ball. So a flat pick and roll is where the screener is going to set the screen above the three-point line, and the screener is going to be flat. So I'm not going to be at an angle this way, and I'm not going to be at an angle this way. I'm just going to be flat right here and let the ball handler make some moves to then get by the defender. Yep, and then we're attacking off that. So that's a flat pick and roll. Now let's go um, high pick and roll is the same location, different angle. So Caleb, you can be pressuring the bar right there. Now, instead of me running up and being flat, now I'm going to just be at an angle right here, kind of 45 degree angle, and then the ball handler's attacking off right there. So you got flat, you got high. Um, we can also go with a late angle pick and roll, late angle pick and roll. So what this would look like is I'm the screener, and Caleb, you can play def or just get in a defensive stance. I'm the screener. I'm running up, and I'm kind of faking it like I'm going to set the screen right here. But late angle means late change of the angle of the screen, and then I'm going to go that way. So that's a late angle pick and roll. Um, two, two more types of screens. One is a twist. So what we'll do here is I'm the screener again. I'm going to go up, set the screen. Brock, you're going to take one dribble off the screen, and then I'm going to twist back, and then you're going to re-screen off of it. So what this is, twist screen, I'm going up, ball screen, I set the screen here. Ball handler is going to take one or two dribbles that way. Then the screener is going to twist and now set another ball screen, and then we're going to attack off that way. So the ball handler's keys right there is off of that first screen, obviously if the ball handler can attack and score, that would be great but it's usually he's spacing out or she is spacing out just to get a return screen or a twist screen. Okay, the last one we'll talk about is a ghost screen. So this is just a fake screen. It's kind of like a pick and pop. But as I'm going into a ball screen, we're saying I'm the screener. I'm running at the defender as if I'm going to set a screen, but then this offensive player will dribble off. I'm not even going to screen, and I'm just popping right away. So. It's basically you're approaching the ball handle like you're going to set a screen, but you don't even touch the defender, and then you just pop to the opposite side.